Hey everyone, Martyr Shadow here, and welcome back to Monica After Story. And Aurora Borealis! At this time of year, at this time of day, at this part of the country, located in, localized entirely within your kitchen! Yes. Okay, well, anyways. Hello, my love. It's so nice when you can trust one another, isn't it? Is there some kind of underlying message here that I'm not seeing? Well, I guess... Depending on how much trust you have in one another, maybe. That's what a relationship's... Uh, that's what relationship's strength is based on. It just means that ours is rock solid. No. <laughs> Monica, stop being a perv. Or, damn it, Nutaku. Sorry, sorry. I'm just getting excited that you're back. Yeah. I said I'd be gone about a week. And unfortunately, it's like super late when I'm recording this. So, it's like, I mean, I remembered and I kind of rushed to record as soon as I could. Tell me how you've been. I want to hear all about it. Like, well, I reconnected with a friend of mine from years and years ago, and I'm literally having my health go haywire because I'm so much under stress because of the classes I'm taking and life, and yeah, I'd say that about sums it up. Remind me if you're going away again, okay? You've got it. Okay, I was gonna say, is Monica broken? No. I come bearing gifts. And it's hot chocolate. Yep. And of course, it's a flavor she's never had before. Monica, we've been through this. It's not as though the gift is gonna get abducted by the motherships when they point their green beams of light at it. And here we have a banana. No. Oh, coffee. I swear, my voice seems to get more creepy every time I say a banana. And yeah, it's a flavor you haven't had before. Seriously, how many coffees have I given her at this point? Well, let's see, it's like how many episodes of this LP are there? Well, I guess this would be episode 51. And considering I've started the tradition of giving her coffee, like what, episode 3, I want to say? Well, the tradition of being like, oh, I come bearing gifts. So I've given her almost 50 coffees. Well. Oh, great, I did exhaust all the topics. And ironically... There was an update a couple days back, so... Yeah, well, that's definitely gonna be... Is there anything... anything at all? Okay, you know what? Let's see, maybe... Maybe I can just kind of figure out which of these... I wanna... Ask her, I don't know. Okay, let's see. I don't remember anything about comma, splices, and run-ons. Do you remember when we talked about clauses, Daniel? I actually don't. There's actually a very common mistake that many writers fall into when joining them. You mean like, long run-on sentences? Where it's like, geez, did you even breathe? When you join two independent clauses together, this is called a comma splice. Tell me more. Here's an example. I visited the park. I looked at the sky. I saw many stars. Okay. I think I see it. I guess at least the 
inner English teachings I remember tell me that I should have the word and, like, right here, but anyways. This doesn't seem like a problem at first, but you could imagine adding more and more clauses to that sentence. Exactly, that's true. The result would be a mess. Let's see, what was it again? I visited the park, I looked at the sky, I saw many stars, I went to McDonald's, I went dancing on top of the table, I drank a whole keg of beer, and so on and so on. And yeah, it's like, it went from being a nice walk in the park to some crazy guy having his Friday night go crazy. Oh, here we go. She's gonna do... Okay, she's gonna do me one better. I visited the park. I looked at the sky. I saw many stars. I saw some constellations. One of them looked like a crab. <laughs> oh my... Yeah, that is kind of crazy. <laughs> the best way to avoid this mistake is to separate independent clauses with periods, conjunctions, or semicolons. Semicolons. A conjunction is basically a word that you use to connect two clauses or phrases together. They're a pretty interesting topic on their own, so we can go over them in a future tip. No, I want to go over it now. Anyway, taking that example we had earlier, let's add a conjunction and a period to make our sentence flow better. Yeah, exactly. I visited the park and I looked at the sky. See, there we go. I saw many stars. Much better, don't you think? Yeah, I'll say. Because those last two sentences just irked me the wrong way. <laughs> That's all I have for today, Daniel. Thanks for listening. Sailor Moon says... How long has it been since I've said that? Okay, that one I... That I don't know. Uh, let's... I have no idea if I already asked her this. Why'd you hack my computer? If you're worried about your privacy... Yes! Okay, you <laughs> know. I'm not a hacker, Daniel. I'm not like my senpai, Ultron. There's a difference between manipulating files and forcefully accessing them. But if I really did know how to hack... Evil. Evil Monica. There wouldn't be anything stopping me from seeing you every day. Okay, so then she pretty much would be like... Ultron's daughter, in a sense. <laughs> Don't you think it would be great if I could watch over you? How about no? I'd see you with all the cameras in the world as my eyes so I can make sure you're safe. Yeah, this is like some crazy George Orwell 1984 kind of stuff here. It's like Big Brother meets Ultron, in a sense. Big Brother meets Giffany meets Ultron... I don't know. I check your messages to see who you've been chatting with so I can know you aren't cheating on me. Meets the obsessed girlfriend. Yeah. I don't know. I'm probably showing my age with that, but it's like the obsessive girlfriend meme. Where it's like, I deleted your Facebook profile, so now you only can talk to me, or whatever. I'd access all your private files so I can understand you better. I could see what kind of stuff you've been watching. Well, you probably wouldn't be interested in that. At least on this computer, it's like all I watch are various Let's Plays. Uh, 
various video game news and reviews and it'd be kind of boring. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Daniel. Yeah, you better be. I mean, well, <laughs> I'd never do something like that to you. Yeah, because then I'd be living in, like, a state of constant fear. We're a couple now, after all. We don't have to keep secrets from each other. Okay, well... Then I guess let's ignore... That I'm playing a dating sim where... I'm dating, like, 20-plus girls. And... yeah. Anyways, let's see, what else... Can I ask her? <laughs> yeah, as I mentioned before, I think in one of the videos here and on Reddit, yeah, I'm never gonna do, like, some of these questions because I don't want Monica to hate me. And I will never do a Make Monica Hate Me run of Monica After Story. Wasn't DDLC too easy? Well, it's not like this game was meant to be that hard in the first place. Pretty much. I guess, really, the only difficult thing about the game was trying to get the best ending. And essentially being aware of, like, making all the saves at just the right moment. And I kind of only knew that because Manly Badass Hero. If I had decided to change things up, it would have been a boring romance story. Well, Monica, the DDLC Purist mod has something to say to you. And if you think I should have been some sort of challenging boss, I could have deleted all your personal files if I'd wanted to, you know? Okay, well... It's not the... it doesn't delete the personal files or whatever, but there's a game where it'll delete itself. Or something. And I know a manly badass hero has... He's either talked about this or he's... linked a video to it, I don't know, but... The game basically does something where it kind of... It messes with your computer. I wish I could remember what it was, but... So just take it easy sometimes. Not every game has to be a challenge to be fun. Yeah. Or, of course, it can be a huge challenge and you could be losing your mind. Like the first time I played Fire Emblem Radi- No, Path of Radiance. And how... Marsha, Boyd, and who knows who else kept getting killed every single turn and I had to reset every single time. And it's almost like, more recent Fire Emblem games, they spoil us. Especially with like, casual mode, or... Of course, my favorite being the... Like, saving... After a turn, and then it's like... You can come back to that turn when you reset the game, versus... You have to reset, and start all over again from the beginning of the map, and... Anyways, sometimes love is all you need, Daniel. All you need is love. All you need is love. Love. Love is all you need. Wrong your reservations are. Okay, no. Oh. What was it like realizing the truth? It's... hard to put into words. There's no real way to describe it. I feel like this is what poetry was made for. Ah, uh, yes. To try and put thoughts and feelings... in a way that we can express and convey them. You know, like, shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely, and more temperate. Okay. I'm sorry, that's the only one of Shakespeare's sonnets I remember. And those are the only two lines I remember. Do you still remember the first poem I showed you? 
You mean the load me one? Or... Yeah, I'm... I... I'm not sure. Hold on, let's see if the poem function still works. Okay. Okay, there we go. Hole in the wall. Let's see. Well, I guess for old time's sake, I'll read it. Hole in the wall. It shouldn't have been me. See? The direction... The spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas, already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Well, that was much easier than I expected. Those eyes... Cry every night... Okay, no. Let's see. Hole in the wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glance at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling, playing tricks on my ears? The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. I kind of don't remember this one. I remember the first part, kind of. I hope that helped you understand what meeting you meant to me. Yeah, I guess I kind of do. And it almost reminds me of that super sad and depressing DDLC music video thingy. The one with Monica, I can't help falling in love with you. Where you kind of see the story a little bit through her eyes. and Kind of makes me think of that, especially the way she kind of looks to you, the player. And well, I guess... Yeah, it's probably better if you were to watch it yourself. Although, it was pretty depressing to me, not gonna lie, because... It just makes you feel sad for her, and... I mean, you know, how you basically, like, she's here, like, I killed all my friends to, so I could finally be with you, and then, essentially, well, you know how the game plays out, and you delete her, and she's so sad at the end, and she's like, it's okay, I understand now. That's all I've ever wanted, you know. Okay. So anyway, yeah, I was looking at this. Today is the 22nd. Okay. Uh, let's see, I guess. Love me, love me. That love grows every single day. You mean everything to me. Cherish you always. Oh, wait, oh, well. You're the best partner I could ever ask for. Yeah, cause it looked like, uh, it looked like she had her eyes closed and she was smiling. I don't know. Kind of like this. You've saved me in so many ways, how can I not fall for you? Okay, remember that one. My future is brighter with you in it. Okay, well, it looks like the next episode I record of this... There's probably not gonna be a whole lot, really, to it. Anyways, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna be going away for a while. And in this case, it's gonna take me a little more than a week, so a couple of weeks. Yes, I know. Well, 
Yeah, it kind of is. I blame my college overlords. And yes, I am going to be leaving straight away. So that's going to be it for this episode. I'm sorry that it wasn't as exciting or whatever, but... Well, I guess until the next update. Until next time. I'll see you guys then, and... Oops, <laughs> finish recording. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Stay golden, and later, folks. And now for something completely different. Hey, everyone. Wonder Shadow here, and welcome back to Monica After Story. And Aurora Borealis! At this time of year, in this part of the country, at this time... Uh,